Okay, so I learned a new magic trick. This is the S23 Ultra and hold on. Expellius, Chodi Hoja. Harry Potter light. Okay, so today we have the Zenfone 10 and this is the best no compromise Android flagship that India deserves. Because it has Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, 50 megapixel gimbal camera, IP68 rating, best of all, even a headphone jack. Yes. Now last year we covered the Zenfone 9 and you guys loved that video. I love that phone and I'm very excited for this one. So let's see if the Zenfone 10 is an actual 10 on 10 or not. Let's begin. Alright, so I'll tell you the three reasons why you will love the Zenfone 10 and one mad thing about it in the end. But before we get to that, you get the box, inside you get the phone, some paperwork, a good looking black case, Type-C to Type-C cable, Charger and an Asus branded SIM ejector tool. Fully loaded unboxing also. Alright, so the first reason why I absolutely love this phone is the size. Like, just have a look at it. It fits in my hand so well. And this is a one-handed phone. So I can type messages with just one hand. This is very handy when you are in the metro or on the bus. Like, you can keep holding onto that safety rod with one hand and continue chatting. Other than this, I even like the material of the phone. The back is made from this unique matte type finish. Now, the material is plastic, but you get this type of paper or sandpaper finish. I don't mind this plastic bag because it makes the phone grippy. Plus, zero chances of fingerprint or smudges. Besides this, the side is made from aluminium. But here's my favorite. On the top, you get a headphone jack, which is just awesome with a capital A. Also on the front, you get a 5.9 inch, 144 Hz, full HD AMOLED display. And it has a peak brightness of 1100 nits, which for a small display like this is quite a lot. Like even in outdoors, daytime, the icons and the entire screen is pretty visible. Plus the display quality is really good. Like I'll play the trailer of Barbie. The colors and everything here is so nice. By the way, what are you watching? Barbie or Oppenheimer? But we'll come back to this display in just a moment. Hang on. The second reason is the whole software experience. So this phone comes with Android 13 right out of the box. This has Asus own custom skin running on it. And I must say, this is very nice. Like for starters, there is absolutely no bloatware or ad. It's a clean Android experience. But here's the thing that I really like. See, every time I get a new phone, the first thing I do is unlock developer mode and change the animation speed to 0.5x. This makes the phone feel quite snappy. I'm sure a lot of you do it as well. Now Asus has recognized this and gave this option by default in the display setting. So now you see the difference in animation. Also you get this game booster mode. So see if I'm in a game, I swipe up from the top corner of the screen and this menu pops up with a cool little animation. Here you can change the refresh rate to 144Hz, see the FPS, temperature and a lot of stuff. Which brings me to the third reason, performance. Alright, since we are here, let's play a new game called Car X. I've been playing this recently and this is like a very graphics heavy game. Like it is open world so you can go anywhere in the map. Also it has dynamic day and night. Like it goes from daytime to night while playing. Very realistic. So I played for a while and the gaming performance here is good. This is no surprise because this has the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, 120 GB UFS 4.0 storage, 8 GB LPDDR5X RAM. I mean, it doesn't get more flagshipy than this. So of course, during normal tasks, browsing the web, watching videos, everything, the phone just flies. However, when it comes to compact phones and performance, the major issue is heat. Like, it is very difficult for brands to give proper cooling in such a small form factor. So we ran the CPU throttle test and see everything is green. And not just that, we also ran M2 benchmark and see it scored more than 12 lakhs, which is like a really good score. Other than these, the Zenfone 10 has all the extra features that you would expect from a flagship phone. IP68 check, wireless charging check. And this comes with a 4300 mAh battery, which in 2023 may seem like a little less, but due to the small screen size, it is fine. It easily lasts around one full day. Now, the one thing that is meh about this phone is the camera. Like, don't get me wrong, the camera here is decent. You get a 50 megapixel main camera with gimbal stabilization and you get a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. For the most part, pictures from the main camera as well as from ultra wide angle are okay. Like see these pictures or even these from the ultra wide angle. But if you compare it to similar price phones like the S23, it kind of falls short. Like this has a dedicated telephoto lens, the Zenfone 10 does it. And even if you see the pictures here side by side, the pictures from the S23 look better. It has better color, sharpness and even HDR. And same is the case with videos. Both the phone can shoot in 4K 60fps, but the 4K 60 on Zenfone is logged only on the main lens. Also in selfies, the S23 can record in 4K 60fps, while the Asus Zenfone 10 is locked to 1080p 30fps. Same, if you look at selfie photos, Samsung's selfies are better. So overall, I have seen until now that the Samsung, Pixels and iPhones are better in terms of photos and videos. So yeah, that was the Zenfone 10. I personally really love the phone, like the compact size and the performance it packs is just... That being said, 
Small phones never make it big. Get the word play? Because if you remember, the Zenfone 9 from last year was also a fully loaded phone, but that didn't launch in India. And that's the case with every small compact phone. As per this survey, the iPhone 13 mini only sold 3% of the entire iPhone portfolio, after which Apple just stopped making the mini series just two years after launching it. And I see why that is the case. See if there's a phone A and phone B, both cost the same price, but phone A is bigger and phone B is smaller, most people will buy phone A. People will be like, she's a 10, but too small. And if you do the price conversion, the Asus Zenfone 10 also cost about 60,000 rupees in Indian amount. And at that phone, you get other bigger flagships as well. But you know what's the best alternative to small phones? These flip phones. Like when you fold them, they are compact, one-handed. And at the same time, when you need a bigger phone, you can just unfold them. So it's like a perfect blend of style and substance. On that note, this is signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew, pew.